Hey guys, welcome to my new channel. This is called Everything Aviation. On my channel, I'm going to be doing model unboxings, aircraft plane spotting, and everything in my life to do with aviation. But it will mostly be model aircraft unboxings. If you do like the channel, please do not hesitate to subscribe as it is my first video. But without further ado, let's get straight to what this video is about. This is the Avro Vulcan B2 model unboxing, and this is the white version. And I picked this up earlier this month, and I still haven't unboxed it, which is why I'm doing it for a YouTube video, for the first video on the channel. Now I have already took it out of the back because this was a pain to get out. When I had a look at it, I thought I'm never going to be able to unbox this quick enough. This was a pain to get out of here. Tell tape and everything. I just took it off. Here's the back of the box in case you wanted to see it. Just the typical Corgi model unboxing. Or unboxing. Corgi model back of the box. Some little end signs to show you what things are about and what things mean. And just a bit of history on the Corgi Collections Club. But without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. This is a die cast scale model, so it's part of metal and very heavy, I'm thinking. It probably is going to be very heavy. As you can read here, XH558-230 OCU, RAF Waddington 1960. Now, if you've ever been to RAF Waddington for an air show, because it is one of the biggest air shows in the UK, if you've ever been, you know how much of a spectacular base this is. It currently holds the E3 Centuries, which I put on the screen now, them, but this used to be there. And it's a scale white model, so I do love this model. I am going to be unboxing this right now. This is a 1 to 144 scale model, so it's pretty big for its size. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. So as I said, I've already took this off, so I'm just going to take this off and it'll be there already. Because I've already unboxed all the plastic and all that, such as this. But yeah, here's the model. Pretty big model, and it's got a nice little collector's card, Avro Vulcan B2, in the box. Which you can put next to your model, which I will be doing on my shelves. So put that aside, put that there, that is the collector's model card. So let's get straight into this. Here is the stand for this, and the stand is pretty cool because it's very strong. It has to be strong to hold this and everything, but it's not one of the plastic cheap ones you get on other planes. This is actually a really good stand for the aircraft, so it'd be really cool to have this on my shelf. And obviously here is the part, main part of the stand that holds the actual aircraft up on display when it is on the model stand. And I'm struggling to get that out, which is weird. But yeah, slip that in there and it'll go on there, which I'll be showing you some cinematic like little shots later on with some music, so keep tuned for that. So I'll put that there. So here we go. Here is the landing gear, rear and front landing gear, or wing landing gear, for the Avro Vulcan, which we'll be connecting later with some little shots. And here it is. Here is the main aircraft. The aircraft, what we have all been waiting for. The Avro Vulcan. And this is literally one of my favourite aircraft of all time. Not just because I've got it now and I'm doing a video on it, it literally is one of my favourite aircraft of all time. If you'd like to do a top 10 aircraft, I would definitely do that, so comment below if you would. But here it is. This is the Avro Vulcan. Really nice and it's yeah, definitely like die cast scale metal. It's really nice metal, really strong. It's not some cheap plastic metal, it's really strong. So here we go, it's a nice paint job. Really cool, it's really detailed. Everything from the little openings, engine openings to insignia are really detailed and everything is on here. And we just had that drop out. So underneath, as you can see, it's just dropped out, but this is where the landing gear would go. And obviously, you have two choices. You can either have no landing gear and them closed up, or you can have the landing gear connected, which I will do in a couple of minutes. So yeah, this aircraft is really detailed. As you can see here, it literally has everything underneath it. Every part of details. There's no lack of detail on this scale model. Really nice Really nice model, all the nice little paint signs, little thing. But it's a really great model. Here's the cockpit, look at that, really nice. The engine's there, and one of these engines has just slipped out over here. But you can put the engine back in, simply like that. Really nice model, and let's now have a look at it with the landing gear in. Here it is with the landing gear in. Pretty cool, I would probably prefer it with the landing gear in. Just makes it look cooler, and on your model display, imagine it would look like it's taken off. Just look like an in-action shot of the Avro Vulcan, which I'll greatly appreciate on my model aircraft shelf. Looking pretty cool, landing gear, is very, landing gear is very detailed, not just one black thing, that is a little bit, but these are very detailed, wheels colored in and all properly modelled out. Pretty cool, here is the Avro Vulcan. And now we're going to put it on the stand, and then we're going to do some couple of cinematic shots of what it looks like on the floor. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. 